Hi guys, so uh, this is a quick video to uh, show the purchase of my uh, new second-hand laptop and currently I've been uh, using a partition on my Dell XPS 9530 that you can see there to run elementary and I've been having a pretty good time with it but been really wanting to run a laptop that is just Linux, has no Windows partition on it, and I uh, just really want to try and give Linux as an operating system uh, a go, like completely dedicate myself to it. Um, just to give you a bit of background on me, um, I love to refurb old systems and bring them up to spec. I recently bought a MacBook Pro and uh, that was a 2011 edition um, and uh, bought that up uh, with a RAM upgrade, uh, fixed the battery and um, I was going to use that as my main machine but of course the uh, early 2011 uh, MacBook Pros are stuck on, uh, stuck on a particular operating system and um, yeah that means that I'm not really running securely. Now I could run uh, it's, uh, I could run uh, a, a patch to upgrade it to a later operating system, but there's bugs in that. Or I could even install Linux on it, but actually I'm a little bit limited by the screen resolution as well on the early 2011 MacBook Pro 13 inch, um, so uh, which is the 1280 by 720. Um, <clears throat> so I've gone out and I've bought uh, this which is the uh, Lenovo uh, X1 Carbon Gen 3 ThinkPad. And uh, I'm going to unbox it and uh, see what I've got. Right, OK, so uh, that's the laptop unpacked and uh, I'm going to plug it in shortly. But just to go through uh, some of the ports, um, it looks like it's got a, a USB a USB port here. Um, I believe that's a USB 3. Um, it's got a little uh, Ethernet um, adapter which has uh, come with the laptop. And on the other side we've got another, uh, looks like a USB 3, a display port and a HDMI. Uh, then we've got the sort of combo um, power and uh, it's, you can get like a little hub that uh, you can plug in and that'll give you some more ports um, which is provided by Lenovo. Um, the keyboard itself and the trackpad, the trackpad looks really nice. Um, proper keys, of course, uh, the old uh, ThinkPad <laughs> nipple. Um, really nice uh, keyboard, uh, really good travel uh, on the keyboard and um, a uh, fingerprint reader as well. So uh, we're going to power this on and I'm going to install uh, Zorin OS 16.1 on this laptop and uh, I'm going to see uh, how we get on uh, with that. So I've got my uh, little uh, Zorin uh, OS USB uh, installer and um, I'm going to plug that in and let's see uh, what happens when we turn this baby on. All right. Well, it turns on. That's always a good sign. It's probably going to boot into uh, Windows 10, which is pre installed on it. But uh, I'm looking to run uh, Linux. Uh, as my sort of full-time distro. Uh, well, let's just have a look and just uh, see what we've got here. Okay, display settings. Hmm, okay. 1600 by 900. Okay. So that's a surprise. I was expecting uh, a full HD uh, display, 
but this is uh, 1600 by 900 which uh, for me isn't too ideal I thought this would be full HD 1920 by 1024 um, so that's a bit disappointing uh, but the display itself is is fairly decent it's quite a nice color um, oops let's just see does this these keys work mm, nope okay trackpad's really nice and um yeah that's kind of it on the windows front all right let's uh oh yeah that's whilst we're here okay what have we got so oh yeah there's a there's a, a sim slot at the back of this so you can put in a, a micro sim but we've got eight gig built in and now that's eight gig soldered on ram uh, can't be upgraded which is a bit of a shame but it's running uh, an Intel Core i7 5600U CPU at 2.6 uh, gigahertz <clears throat> two cores uh, four logical processors and uh, 8 gig of RAM I think it's got a let's have a look all right uh, 222 gig of uh, usable disk space according to Windows, but we're going to scrub that and install Zorin. So let's give this thing a restart. Now, I believe on the uh, ThinkPads, oops, it's normally F12. Here we, yep, here we go. So USB generic flash disk. Let's just see if this works off the bat. Try or install Zorin OS. I want to try it out. Let's have a look. Okay, so we're getting the uh, Zorin uh, startup. Nice animation. 